Okay, so ito na yung second part natin ng um, identifying or classifying conic section using its um, conic discriminant. So, ito naman guys, gagamitin natin yung conic discriminant which is B squared minus 4AC. Okay? So, kapag ka ang sagot nyo sa conic discriminant is equal to 0, ibig sabihin ko ang nakuha nyo yung value is saktong 0, the answer would be parabola. Okay? Kapag ka greater than 0, pag sinabi natin greater than 0, positive numbers. So, automatic, pagka positive numbers ang nakuha ninyo, or positive number, then the answer would be hyperbola. Okay? And then the last one would be less than 0. So, if B squared minus 4AC is less than 0, then ibig sabihin nito, yung mga negative numbers, we have two options. So, pwede siyang circle, pwede siyang ellipse. So, i-compare nyo lang yung A and C. If A is equal to C, then it is circle. If A is not equal to C, therefore, it is ellipse. Okay, let's have the same example that we have used for the part 1. Yan, same lang yung gagamitin natin. Okay, yan. So, let's have number 1, x squared plus 10x plus y minus 21 is equal to 0. Pagka ang ginagamit nyo is discriminant, kukunin nyo yung A, B, and C palagi. So, A, B, and C. Okay? So, si A yung partner ni x squared, si B partner ni xy, si C partner ni y squared. So, in this case, ang A natin ay 1, partner ni x squared. Wala tayong xy, so 0 ang C. Wala tayong letter C kasi wala namang y squared, so 0 din yan. Okay? So, and then, we will compute for the conic discriminant, which is B squared minus 4AC. Okay? So, B squared, so 0 squared minus 4 times A is 1 times C, 0. So, 0 squared is 0 minus negative 4 times 1 times 0 is 0. So, the answer is 0. So, 0, i-compare nyo ngayon yan sa 0. So, pag saktong 0 siya, 0 is equal to 0. Okay? So, balikan natin to. If your answer is 0, then it is parabola. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito sa number 1 is parabola. Okay? Alam nyo na na yun ang sagot by using quadratic terms. Pero kung gagamitin nyo yung discriminant, this is how you do it. So, the answer is parabola kasi the answer is 0. Okay? So, ulitin ko guys. Pagka 0 sakto ang sagot, parabola. Pag positive numbers, ibig sabihin nun greater than 0, lahat ng positive numbers, hyperbola. Pag negative numbers or less than 0, then it can be circle or ellipse. If A is equal to C, then it is circle. If A is not equal to C, then it is ellipse. Okay, let's have number 2. So, 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 20x minus 32y plus 81 is equal to 0. So, we will get A, B, and C. So, ang A natin is 4. Ang B is 0. Wala tayong XY. So, A, X squared. Yan yung magkakapartner. B, X, Y. And then, C, Y squared. Okay? So, yung C natin ay 4. So, apply natin yung B squared minus 4 AC. So, 0 squared minus 4 A. So, ang A natin ay 4 din. C. Okay? So, 0 squared is 0. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Negative 16 times 4 is negative 64. So, negative 64. So, 0 minus 64 is negative 64. So, negative number to, therefore, it is less than 0. So, kung less than 0, pwedeng ellipse, pwedeng um, circle. So, kukompare ko yung A and C. A and C. So, pag equal sila, since A is equal to C, because we have 4 and 4, big sabihin equal, okay, the answer would be circle. Kung hindi equal yung dalawa, the answer would be Ellipse. Okay? Sige, let's have number 3. So, ang A natin is 25. Ang B natin is 0. Ang C is 1. So, may imaginary 1 dyan. Okay? So, let's apply B squared minus 4AC. 0 squared minus 4AC. So, 0 squared is 0. Negative 4 times 25 is negative 100. Times 1 is negative 100. So, the answer is um, negative 100. So, again, this one, negative number. So, pag negative number, less than 0 yan. So, it's either ellipse or circle. Ko compare ko ngayon si A and C. Okay? So, let's compare A and C. Is A equal to C? No, it is not equal. Okay? Kasi 25 is not equal to 1. They do not have the same value. So, pagka not same value siya, tapos negative ang sagot nyo, ibig sabihin less than 0, the answer would be ellipse. So, ang sagot dito ay ellipse. Okay? Let's have number 4. So, ang A natin dito ay 9, ang B dito is 0, and then ang C ay negative 1. Okay? So, B squared, 0 squared, minus 4AC. Okay? So, 0 squared is 0, 
Negative 4 times positive 9 is negative 36 times negative 1 is positive 36. So the answer is 36. 36 is a positive number, therefore it is greater than 0. So isa lang ang option dyan guys, kapag ka greater than 0 ito. Okay, it is hyperbola. Okay, so the answer would be hyperbola. So hyperbola. Ayan. So ibig sabihin yung given equation, when you graph that, it will be, it will form hyperbola. Okay, number 5. So ang A natin dito ay 0, B natin ay 0, Y lang ang meron, which is, ay sorry, C lang ang meron, which is yung Y squared, yung numerical coefficient niya, which is 1. Okay, so B squared minus 4 AC. Okay, so 0 squared is 0 minus negative 4 times 0 times 1 is 0. So again, 0 to, kukompare natin si 0, that is equal. So pag equal yon isa lang yan, parabola. Okay, let's have the last example x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 2y plus 9 is equal to 0. So, ang a natin ay 1, ang b ay 0, ang c ay 1. Okay? So, let's have b squared minus 4ac. Okay? So, 0 squared is 0. Negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4. So, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Comparing this, less than 0 yan. Kasi negative siya. Okay? So, since um, negative siya, pwedeng circle yan or pwedeng ellipse. I will compare a and c. So, since A is equal to C, okay, 1 is equal to 1, therefore, this is circle. So, kung equal sila, circle. Okay, so yung 1 natin, parabola, circle, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, circle. Same lang yan, guys, dun sa nakuha natin dito sa ating first part, which is using its quadratic terms. But this time, we had used um, the conic discriminant. So, it's up to you what you want to use to classify conic section given its equation.